here we are guys back 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Simba! Simba! Hi! Simba, it's you! Simba, it's you! Simba, it's you! They look like twins. Hi. Hi! Look at him. Look at him. Oh, really nice. Good boy! So great. This is exactly what we want. There are so many good smells out here. So many good pee pee smells. It's unbelievable. He has the same personality as Simba. I'm telling you, right when he came in the house, it was like exactly what Simba would do. What do you think, guys? Simba, what do you think? Toby, what do you think? <laughs> Isn't that what you wanted, Wendy? Huh? Isn't that what you wanted? Just whatever. Just give them a few. Make sure all's good. I think you can. Uh... I think. Don't you think? Take the leash off. Yeah. Really, on the air conditioner. That's good. Now he's gonna do it, but he can't lift his leg. He doesn't lift his leg. He just kind of sits there and opens his leg. I think. He just needs, he needs muscle. Yeah. He just needs I muscle. I know. Well, that's what your pool's going to do for him. Oh, my gosh. Good. good. See what he does? Whoa. Look. Yay. Good boys. Everybody, Amy, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. We're having a marking pee party on our air conditioning. Don't kill my air conditioner. Get your nose out of there, Simba. Come on. Good boys. Come on, Toby. I know it's hot, Beppy. Does he like balls and Oh, she brought her own balls. Come on, Tobe. It's hot. Wendy came to meet with her husband, our beautiful, gorgeous boy, Simba. He's peeing again. Good boy. Get it all out, buddy. Get it all out. Yay. Get it, Simba. Get it, Simba. Simba's just following Toby around. And that's exactly what he needs. Hi. Hi, boys. Snip, snip, snip. Wendy fell in love with Simba with her husband. They live in Parkland. She does not work. Hi, Toby. Hi, Sim. Come here. Did he smack you in the head with his tail? Hi, Toby. Hi, I know. I mean, we can take it in the lobby. We don't, I don't care. I just don't want them having a pissing party in my lobby. They would've. They would've, for sure. Get it all out. And this is what Simba does. He follows. He loves to follow the doggies. Look at this, the two butts. <laughs> oh my God, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. It could not be more perfect. Look at this. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. You know what? He's going to keep Simba young. And he's going to keep you young, Toby. Oh, buddy. I know, puppy. I know. Keep moving it, buddy. Wendy has a pool and a fenced in yard. Um, she would love to do water therapy with, with Simba. They're both the same demeanor and disposition. They're doing fantastic, fantastic. I, I just, you just don't know, you know, you never know. If you all remember, we rescued Simba from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. Um, we opened up this rescue house number two and it was going only for little dogs because our rescue house one is so full. Um, then when I saw Simba, there was just no way no way that I could leave him behind. He was 120 pounds. He had just double, double ear infection, skin infection. He couldn't move. He couldn't get up. He was just so defeated. And we took a chance. 
none of us could leave him behind. He has brought our rescue house to life and we have loved him every second he's been here. He's not going today. We're doing the meet. Get out of there, Simba. We're doing the meet today. Um, and then I would like to bring him over to Wendy's. Oh, we got a poopy in the house. Watch out, Toby. Trust me, Toby. Let him go. <laughs> but I have to tell you, his poop is getting much better. Yay! Way in is today, Simba. We have way in today. I want to say thank you for everybody that joined our uh, chant. Look at him trying to kick his leg. <laughs> Look at. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's going to work just fine. It's going to work just fine. They look exactly alike. It's perfect. I say we go into the lobby for a little. It's very hot out here. Um, just kind of, what do you think, Wend? It's hot, don't you think? Yeah. Go in the lobby. You want to go inside, boys? Come on. Come on, let's go inside and cool off. I know. Come on. Hold on, guys. Ah, don't pee in here. Don't you pee in my room. Here we are. Everybody's going to bark. Hi, Mommy. Hi, baby. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. Wendy, stop. Sorry, I just want it to be so perfect. I know there's a lot of little doggies in there, Toby. Toby, come see. Come see the toys, Toby. They're perfect, Wendy. I think so. So basically, oh, yeah. there we go. There you go. I take a load off it, lady. I I hot and tired. So perfect. How do you? It feels good, right? Does it feel good, Keith? Hi, gorgeous boy. Hi. Look, he's trying to kiss him. They're kissing. They're kissing. Oh, good boy, Simba. Good boy, Toby. He kissed him. Simba's a big kissy. Yeah. You guys are going to be friends. They're going to be buddies. This is so awesome. One person's trash is another's treasure. There's your new mommy. There's your new mommy. So... That's what he'll, if he'll eat it, so he likes wet mix. He won't eat just dry food, will he? Um, he's on kibble. I give him the health extension okay. kibble. Okay. And I mix it with a little of the fresh pepper. Just a little. Fresh pepper. Yeah. Okay. Fresh pepper. I do wash uh, the kibble and mix it with a little of the fresh pepper. Fresh pepper. Yeah. Okay. I do uh, like low sodium beef broth. Okay. Just to get it. We, Try it. See yeah. what he'll do. Wet on him. If I even do a little wet, just add so many pounds to yeah. his dogs. Yeah. And it's just the chicken. There. Okay. She just you says like spring. Listen, I mean, you can even boil. Me either, but you can boil up chicken breast yeah. or ground turkey lean and just sprinkle crumbles on it, or you can buy a bag of this. <laughs> well, she's not taking him home yet. I have to do the home check. We're gonna deliver him. So I can do the delivery. Either to, I can do it Friday. I don't know what your schedule is. Um, or, because tomorrow Wendy's having surgery. Well, or I can do it later in the afternoon tomorrow. I can do Friday. Friday? After that. So that will give me tomorrow to go down and get I've got a bed, so he sleeps on the bed. 
Good. Well, he's free. he's coming with his bed that was donated. It's an orthopedic from Auntie Susan Ho from Singapore. Two orthopedic beds. Shush, Wendy. One for him that I was going to put in the bedroom on the floor next to the bed. He's not going to be able to get on a bed right now. Just make him comfortable. Yes. Right next to you, he's fine. Yes. He's perfect. And then in our big family room, he's got another dog bed. Perfect. Perfect. Wendy. Wendy, enough. Can you try to get her to stop? Just even five seconds. She want the nanny? Huh? It's so perfect. Toby, come here, buddy. Toby. Come here, baby. Yeah, there's lots of treats there, lady. It's all kinds of things. It's all about the food. It's all about the food. He does, we don't want him to go in there, so... Um, come, on, come, here, Toby. come here, Toby. Good boy. Oh, you're good. I'm excited. Dear we are. Dear we are. And Keith, you can even watch over the door. How's that? You don't miss a thing. Nope. Watch the door. Who's that? I got to Oh, Hi. Uh-uh. Watch him. Uh-uh. Don't open the door. Okay. Hi. There's a good boy. Oh, we are in lockdown in here all the time. <laughs> I'm a, I'm an OCD nut. Oh my God! Oh my God! Really? Is this great, Zoe? Oh my goodness! Zoe just came from dropping off Cookie, the Saint Bernard. At the, she came here first, and then she went to the vet's office. Yeah, she's beautiful. Look at this! Look at this! Oh my God! Look at! Thank you, Auntie Zoe. This is a good. This is a good challenge. Is he protective over toys? Wendy, is he protective over toys? No, I want to make sure they don't fight over toy. We usually go to Charlotte for New Year's, and he is with two other labs. The only time I've ever seen him. Watch, watch, watch. Okay. So that is going to, I am going to have to... Feed them separate. Oh, of course. And then when it, when when they're done, even in a separate room. He eats in two seconds. No, he doesn't eat, he doesn't eat fast, does he? He doesn't eat fast for me. Is he, is he a no. no, but I feed Braun and Simba in the same room with yep. two of us. Okay. And, then, and they finish about the same time. Yeah. So, so he will inhale his food in two seconds and then he'll go to the other bowl. Oh. So you have to separate. I want to yeah. eat. And you have to watch toys, too, because I don't know how they're going to be. Yeah, so you don't care. Because he'll eat everything. And no bones. No, no bones. bones. Together, we don't know how they're going to Oh, right, 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 right. You know, don't leave bones around with one dog. It's different now. Right, I've got lots of bones. All right, we'll just have to... They might be great. It might be not a problem, but you have to be on guard initially. Right. And remember, it's his house. So now there's new dog coming in. And they're gonna, they're going to, even though they get along, there's always a pecking order. Right. Who's gonna be the alpha in the house? You know. The food, like the mm -hmm. food I, I want them like, look oh, at him. Look at look look look. <laughs> Toby, come here. Where's your toy go? Simba's looking for you. Simba's looking for you, Toby. Look at him. Look at him. He's like whatever. Yeah. He's, like, he's welcome. He's welcome. Look at Simba. Where are you, my new buddy? That's Toby. And that's our Simba. Be careful, I don't know how they're going to be, so just make sure there's no good toys. Simba doesn't care. Like, even Braun takes everything. Um, I've seen him growl a little oh, uh, under his breath. Not aggressive. He's watching. He's watching. Not aggressive, but when Braun comes to his toy, he'll do a little. Yep. And then Braun backs off. And Braun backs off. So, was he. When you said he was outside. He lived outside. He was just left outside as an ornament. In, in a wherever. Two by four I didn't see it, but he was an outside in a yard, dog. In a yard. In a, I don't know. He was outside. It could be in a container. It could be a kennel. I don't know. He doesn't have an embedded, you know. You know and with, I think he was probably in a kennel or a very small space. If you were out an outside dog, he'd be moving. Of course. That's why I think he was. And it's aged. so hot outside. It's like he didn't. Get to move. But I can tell you one thing. He's really getting accustomed and comfortable with all these shaggy rugs, <laughs> orthopedic beds. Air Let me tell you what. We have to roll out the yoga mat and the rubber mat 
You know, right? Yeah. To eat for him, and comforters, and he goes straight to his orthopedic bed. No, I have an orthopedic bed. Well, we have one that's brand new that you're yeah, going to get with him. Carpet. I got carpet. <laughs> and he'll probably never get upstairs. Maybe at some point, but probably Where's not. your bedroom? Downstairs. Perfect. Because that would be a problem. <laughs> Because he has, he has to be with his person. He would be horrible as long as he's with his person, or free roam. Ninety-nine percent of the time, my boys' rooms are upstairs. And he's potty trained, and he's not destructive either. And he'll bark if he has to go out. He'll tell you. He communicates. That's what labs do. That's what labs do. You guys are so quiet. My God, what's going on in your heads? Is it's like hi, Tove. He's been moving. Are you kidding me? He's been jiggling all over this the This dog is so active here. He was running last night. He's running today again. Chasing us. The more weight he loses, the better feel he feels and the more active he becomes. He wants to. And he'll so keep did active. he have, what, was his so skin, was his skin bad? We, we brought him to our groomer. Did he have fleas and everything? No, he did not. Well, I don't know what they gave him in the shelter. They give prevention. Um, how nice of them. But um, when we shaved him, all those, it was bright red and infected and double ear infections. Um, so he's been on an, an oral antibiotic, an uh, ear, ear antibiotic, ear cleaners. Um, ear cleaners, and now he's done. I think we just keep him on the Doxy now for, uh, are we done with the Doxy? No, we're done with that. Only the gabapentin we give him once a we, day. Oh, yes. He's on gabapentin once a day for the rest of his life. Okay. Until, because of um, arthritis, because of the weight. Right. And we could and tell that. He was paid, and, oh, yeah. and yeah, yeah. Uh, supplement supplement glucosamine. We you have all the records for that, like what, what, what you give him. Oh yeah, okay, oh yeah, and we'll give you um, a bottle to take home, <laughs> so that you'll have, you know. So perfect. He needs to be on that. It makes all the difference in the world. My dog's on it for the rest of his life. He's a senior. He couldn't get up, and they put him on that, and he's a different dog. So it doesn't drug him. It doesn't alter his personality. It's almost like a Motrin or a, like a, you know, a lever yeah, for a dog. Good. Tobes, come here. What you Toby's like, whatever. He's like, I want to see the other dog. Come on, Toby. He's like, I want to go back in that bathroom. They had a nice red too, huh? Where's the food? I think this yeah, is, I, I really, I think this is perfect. Um, Ain't no sunshine when she's... Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Nice. They both it's kissed good. each other. It's good. That's... You just confirmed it, boys. You just confirmed it. No, we're good. We're so good. Wendy, you're a godsend. So what's the plan? Did we say Friday? Yes. Um, afternoon is fine. Whatever, whatever's good for you. I'll, I'll probably be home by 11, 11.30, and then I'm home. Okay. Um, Friday. Oh, you're not here Friday. We're going to deliver Friday. I'm Friday, so it's up to you. You know, I could either watch the house or... Um, or yeah. With you or okay, cool. We can always shut down the house for an hour or so. Yeah. And uh, we can deliver our boy. Yay. So that's the plan, guys. We will be delivering our Simba to his new forever home and his brother Toby. What's your husband's name again? Is it Jim? Jim. Uh, Jim and Wendy. Uh, we're going to be going to Parkland. And I, you know what I love? That you guys aren't too far away. So we can be a part of your yeah. life and his life, if you don't mind. We're not going to ever ever come by and announce ever but a, and we say but we would love to be a part of seek, to visit here and there um, awesome oh my god he's gonna keep him active I know look at them is this not the best the best the best yay now I know I still have to do the home check and I'm not worried but we have a big screen pool awesome but the yard itself is not fenced he's on a Collar. What collar? He's on an invisible fence. No. No? No way. You think we'll scare him? Uh, you're putting him? Oh, I won't even give you my dog. Really? Nope. Why? Nope. Well, just lie, though. I'll tell you. Okay, I'm going to tell everybody. Everything's raw and real no, here. I won't, I won't put him on. I'm live. He's, uh, <laughs> he's got a dog door, so I leave my garage. We're on a cul-de-sac in a very quiet street, so he goes in and out of bed. You know, I was on the news, first of all. Um, those callers, they can fail at any given time. And it did fail. Really? It, it, happened. Our, our, uh, it happened to her dog, too. Yeah. The dog got out of the yard.
got into the woods, Coyote got the dog, and when it was time to come back in, he couldn't come in because it, it worked again. He died. And it, and it doesn't prevent animals from coming in. And if you have a dog eater, you're not home. But I'm not doing it. Oh, no, I only do it when I'm home. But why? Because if he... he really if you're home... Because I don't like him coming to me to go in and out all the time. He'll go out, he'll lay in the driveway, he'll go to the bathroom, he'll come back in. Oh, no, that can never happen. Okay. But it's, it's locked. The, the, door is, the thing opens the door to the garage. The collar works on the fence, and it clicks for him to go out, so he goes out and it clicks for him to come back in, and it locks behind him. So nobody can go in or out without that collar. So yeah, but he's free out of your house, and you're not fenced. It's an invisible I know, fence. I know, but he's never, ever gone out of it. I can't do it. Okay, that's fine. We'll just, I'll just go out with him. I'll just have to go out with him. When he goes to the bathroom. And when he gets walked. You have to take him on a leash always. I think he's going to move that fast. <laughs> I mean, I don't. No. You can't take it, but it takes one second. <laughs> She's really <laughs> overprotected. You think? She look at her. That's my baby. All of these babies are my babies. Are you with me? I do. I, I do you guys agree with me? Yeah. Because oh we gosh. had it happen with our dog. I've had everything happen, Wendy. Through the Wendy, how long have you been watching us? Got out how long what? Have you been following 100 Plus? Um, probably, we've been here seven years, probably four. Then you don't listen to me very well. Because <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't even be here if you had an invisible, if you, if that, you know. No, no, uh-uh, mm-mm. All right, well, you can be on it, but he can't. Then. He can never. You have to promise me and give me, you have to. If And if you tell me, Amy, I can't, then it's okay. I'm serious. All well, kidding aside. Honestly, though, I don't know about training a seven-year-old dog on an invisible fence. He was a puppy. Ain't no sunshine when she I don't want, it's not going to happen. So if it's even a consideration, you have to talk to your husband. If it's even a consideration, it can't happen. I'll just go out with him. I mean, I'm home. I only do it when I'm home. The dog needs to, he needs to go in and out, in and out. I mean, your pool is screened, right? Yes. So he can walk around the pool as long as you're out there with him. Because if he falls in, goodbye Sally. He's going to sink to the bottom. My dog is a senior and fat, and I'm going to tell so you something. he doesn't like to swim. Yeah, of course. I had no, our other so dog, I couldn't keep him out of the pool. Yeah. This guy, yeah, I don't, I don't really care about Four that. of my dogs, none of them will go in the pool. My senior. No, they'll I, go in the ocean, though. Huh? Because they, they go to the beach. They love it. They go up to Delray Beach. That's cool. I don't know about getting you in a car, though, but... Event. We get him in the oh, car to weigh in. I have, yeah. a, I have a ramp. He gets in, we weigh him in. We take him up the street to weigh in. Well, I don't, but... My, <laughs> my volunteer and her husband do, but she said this time it was much. <laughs> she said this time it was much easier. So I'm hoping that this time will even be easier. Even a little rail. We're doing it after you. We haven't weighed him yet. We have our challenge going. Two point eight pounds. Two point eight. That was a very common, very popular number. I went a little high. I don't know. He's been very active. Well, so guys, you know, see, this is this is why I go I go raw and I go live because. You can see, and Wendy's an amazing person, an amazing mommy. Um, she does things her way. Uh, you know, obviously her seven-year-old gorgeous lab is... Nine. Oh, nine. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> wow. He looks freaking amazing. Yeah, he looks like a puppy. Wow. Um, yeah, but they use an invisible fence with the collar, and, and my organization is absolutely one billion percent totally against it. I have turned down amazing homes that use it. I will not, I will not even consider it. Um, just because we have had things happen, um, and I'm not going to put Simba through anything that could cause him harm or his life. And honestly, I don't think I'd want to train him on it at this point. Yeah. Because of what's happened to him. Yeah, it's because, not. You know, you don't want him to get the shot. It's a negative reinforcement. You don't want him to. Yeah, no, it's totally that, negative. Yeah. He's so positive he's and happy and free. And yeah. So we'll see. We'll talk about it. We'll make sure we're all on the same page. Um, I will make her sign a contract. <laughs> I will make her raise her right hand to the God on the oath. 
No collar, no invisible fence, never outside, unattended. Uh, listen, I had a lady that, that wanted one of our dogs. She lived in a $2 million house on the intercoastal. Uh -oh. The meet and greet was awesome. No fence on the intercoastal part. It was a six-foot drop. Does she have kids? She has older kids, but her dog has fallen in a few times, and there's a crocodile in there. But she said, but she's not willing to put a gate, and she can't lie, but she makes coffee in the morning and lets her dog out, and they forgot her one time. And, and she won't, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm well, see, not putting a dog I, in a house I, like that. I don't care what kind of money or house she has, it's not like happening. That. We've got a lake in the back and I, I'm free. Because oh, so you have a lake and you're not fenced. We have, right. Mm -hmm. It's just getting better and better and better. <laughs> so you'll be with me when you go out. Because <laughs> you only have to have the pool fenced. That's shoot, me now. That's shoot me now. Just shoot me now. Shoot me now. I love this woman, but I, it, I promise you, if I go there, and I'm, I'm bringing you with me. Yeah. So if we're not comfortable, I'm, Simba's coming back. I hope that's not the case. I hope this is it. Mm -hmm. I hope this is his new mommy. I hope this is his new brother. Um, but guys, this is part of the process. Live, raw, real. Uh, we'll see what happens on Friday. Whatever's meant to be, will be. You know, we do our due diligence, and well, my goodness, God. He needs, he's going to need exercise, so you're going to have to really, like, take him out. You know, he doesn't go far. Um, he's not going to go fast, but he loves to roam around and chase a toy. Um, he needs oh, that. We have, on the he other needs side, that. We have a little island on our, on our property. My husband's the bird man. We feed the muscovies and the Egyptians and the wood ducks and everything. But it's on the lake, there. right? No, that's in our yard. Oh. Yeah. So All you just have to be out there with him? So we've got, we've got, like, a little farm out there. Just as long as you're out there with them. What about Bufu Toads? Do you have a lot of those? Never. Wow, you're lucky. I don't know why either. Christine has a billion of them. I don't know if the cats and she's in Parkland. Because our cats, uh, they like to go in and out at night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 What's happening, boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is it, guys. We're going to sign off. And listen, whatever's meant to be is going to be. Um, I hope it is this. Um, we also have a backup home in place. If God forbid a billion times this is not the right fit for him. Um, it is a previous adopter who has four of our 100 plus dogs, completely fenced in house, work, works in from home and has a pool. So we are going to, it's never about us and it's never about the person. What comes first and is the most important is what is best for our dog and what's going to be the best fit for them. Um, so we will keep you posted, but we are going to be doing a weigh-in of Simba's weigh-in today, and we will let you know how that goes, because I know everybody is so eager. Um, and thank you for everybody that took the challenge, the Simba challenge. Wendy, thank you for running over here. Um, it's been a very busy day. We have more stuff coming. Stay with me. This is Amy, 100-plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, and we'll see you soon.